What's up guys? Alright, so uh, today we're going to be doing an install video on the S3. What we're going to be installing today is this little thing right here. It's from ECS Tuning. It's a diverter valve. Um, I don't call it a blow valve because I don't think it's a blow valve. It's more it's a spacer in there. And pretty much what it does, it causes excess air um, not to go back into the engine, pretty much vents to atmosphere. So it makes that cool sound. <laughs> best impression I can do right now. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna film what it sounds like before and then once I'm gonna put it on, I'll film what it sounds like after. Hopefully you guys can hear it, hopefully it makes a difference. But before I go on, this is mostly just for uh, sound effect. Um, I don't think it makes any horsepower. I've had it on my other Audi, my 8.5. It just made a cool noise. Other than that, I don't see it making any difference horsepower wise or anything like that. It's just a little cool thing to add on there. And it comes in red. I got it in red uh, from ECS Tuning. Let me see if I can. Uh, there you go. I think it was like 55 bucks, something like that. So it's not super expensive, super light. And let me go ahead and turn on the car so y'all can hear what it sounds like before. So it already does have a loud swish sound. Um, that's from putting an intake and stuff like that. If you have the stock air box, it will not sound like that. You won't hear the turbo noises and stuff like that. Having an intake just opens that up more and it makes a noise. But I want it to be a little bit louder. And I'm honestly haven't looked up enough videos to tell you what that'll sound like. But hopefully it sounds pretty cool. Let me go ahead and get into the install. It's pretty easy. This isn't going to be a long video because I'm not going to go ahead and show you step by step. But pretty much you got to remove the intake or your stock intake that's on there. I have an ECS tuning uh, Lufnik intake on it. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the pipe from the back right here. And then after that, I'll show y'all where it's at right there. Let me take my watch off because I'm going to get scrapped. And so I can give y'all a reference of what these look like. Um, this is the A5 one and this is the S3 one. So if you're thinking about using like different ones, um, it's a possibility they might not work the same. So I think highly, even if it's a 2.0 uh, engine, you know, two liter engine, pretty much it's different. See how wide that is on the S4, uh, A5 and the S3. So big difference. All right, guys. So I went ahead and removed the intake and then went back there. And I also removed the inlet just because it makes things easier because it's going to kind of get in your way of a final bolt that's right there. So as you can see, I had to remove the, the valve right here. So this is what I removed. It's attached with uh, their T30s. Let me make sure. Uh, yeah, so they're all T30s. Uh, the bolt for the inlet is also a T30. You just remove it, pull, uh, move it back, and you can get to it. And then you can move the valve. And I'll show you guys how that looks whenever you put that. So you just put this uh, diverter valve right on top of it. Um, it'll have like a little space where you can fit that little nipple in there and just clamp it in. Put it back in, use the bolts that come with the diverter valve because they're a little bit longer. So uh, you, you don't want to use the stock ones on there. Just use the ones that come with the kit and just go ahead and do everything in reverse. It's really easy. I think I've been on this for like five minutes. So I'm used to taking all this stuff apart. So it's quite quick. Uh, let me go ahead and put this on. I'll show you what this looks like on there before I put all the piping back on. Guys, it's hot as shit out here. But anyways, um, I got it on. As you can see, it's this little piece right there. It's very non-noticeable. Um, it's red, which is cool. I mean, I think that's super cool. Um, but what I am getting next, guys, which is going to match that, is this inlet piping. So the pretty much the pipe that goes straight in from the turbo all the way to the intercooler. I'm getting that one from ECS. I have a whole lot of parts coming in. so. That's why I'm kind of kicking this off right now. But that's coming in. Uh, let me go ahead and clean the inlet of the turbo because I do see some uh, oil. So it's just blowback. And I'm going to clean that up, put the inlet back on, put everything on, and show you guys what it sounds like. All right, guys. So it's like five minutes later, and I got everything back on. Everything's tight on there. Um, bolted all the bolts back up, make sure your vacuum lines, everything was good. Let me go ahead and start the car and show you what it sounds like. So this is my first time hearing it, too. Alright guys, so um, as you can tell, I 
you guys probably can't tell the difference, but I can. Um, how to put it? No more turbo flutter, hopefully. So that goes away and it just releases to atmosphere. Uh, in long term, I think turbo flutter, in my opinion, you can hear different things, but I think affects the turbo quite greatly. So doing the atmosphere, um, I think will help with the life of the turbo. So I'm pretty looking forward to that. Hopefully my turbo just lasts a little bit longer. But yeah, the sounds really good. I'm pretty sure when you're driving and stuff like that, it sounds even better. I'll do some driving videos in the next coming up. So hopefully you guys like the install. I know it wasn't a big one, but hopefully you guys Go ahead and install in your car. I improve the, the noise that comes out of it and hopefully in long term the life of your turbo. Alright guys, till next time. If you guys like the video, like and subscribe. Peace.